Hello everyone, this is Joseph Propati, and today I'm going to be talking about a new game I created. It's a print and play, and you can find the files on Board Game Geek. It's called Dice Tetris, and it's a play on the video game Tetris, but you use dice. And the flip of it is, where in Tetris you have the shapes that fall, and then you create the combinations as they fall or drop. In this one, you're going to be using the dice, manipulating the setup and layout of the dice to create shapes. So a little, little uh, twist on it. So <clears throat> the game, again, it's a print and play, and this video is going to go over a few things. It's going to show you what you need component-wise to play the game. Then I'll, I'll cover the setup uh, to actually play the game, and then on the last part of the video, uh, I'll cover the rules and a playthrough, probably a few turns and maybe even a full full game. So let's go ahead and we'll cover the components of what you need and then we'll do the setup. So print and play, the files are on uh, Board Game Geek. Geek. You just need um, the game board, which is a eight and a half by 11. And then there are two sheets that have all the shapes on it, the tiles, shape tiles. So 40 tiles total, uh, you can print that out and then cut them up. You need a 10 millimeter cube, could be any color. This will be used for your action tracking. And then you need 50 dice with five different colors. And they will be blue, yellow, red, orange, and green. Now I know 50 dice are a lot, um, but there's a lot of combinations of shapes that you can make. and um, if you think about all the different images that you see in Tetris, there's a lot. So, sorry about that. A lot of dice, I know. But um, uh, if you are interested or if you have a lot of dice lying around, it's great. Amazon sells dice super cheap. And these are the 16mm uh, size dice. They work really well. So you'll need 50 dice, uh, 10 of each of those five colors, you know, something to hold all the dice in, cup you know, a large cup or a bag. And then um, you need a one minute timer. Uh, you can use an hourglass timer or a phone. Uh, I would probably re recommend the phone because there are parts in the game where you'll be pausing the time to remove dice and um, that shouldn't be taken away from the time you have to figure out what you're doing. So uh, right now, that is what you need. You need the print. For the components, you need a cube, you need your dice, a timing mechanism, and you're ready to play. So in the next section, we'll go over the setup of the game. Hello again, this is Joseph Propetti, and this is uh, the setup section of Dice Tetris. So what we'll do is, uh, since we have our game board set up, we'll go ahead and shuffle our tiles. And probably the easiest way to do that is just lay them out and mix them up. There we go. Let's go ahead and stack them. Okay. Now once you get your 40 tiles stacked in a pile, it's always nice to just do a half cut. All right, and then it'll go in the draw pile space. So those are your 40 tiles, right? Then we're going to take five tiles off the top and fill in these five spaces. So the best way to take tiles off is you just flip it over and place it. That way you'll get a complete random setup of where the shape um, is laid out. Okay, so we have our five shapes. Then you take your cube, it goes on the sixth space for the action track. And then we're going to take all of our dice and go ahead and put it in a bag. We'll give that a nice shake. So we can randomize the dice. Alright, so we got our dice. And then we're going to set up our six dice for the drop zone. 
And the way you want to do that is you want to just take one at a time, roll it, and they will be placed in the drop zone space from left to right. There we go. There'll be six dice. And there's our last dice. So, so here we have our six dice that are set up in the drop zone. All right. And once you've got your six dice set up to start the game, you will flip your timer and you'll be ready to start your first turn. So that is the setup for Dice Tetris. On the next section, we're going to go into all the rules of play and then we'll go into um, how the game is played in, in a playthrough. Okay, hello again. Uh, this is a continuation of my video Dice Tetris for my game. And this section is going to cover all the rules of play for the game. So, Dice Tetris is set up in turns and it's actions that you'll take per turn. Now, since there's 40 tiles, the game consists of 40 turns. So, when you clear through all the tiles, that's when the game will end. It can also end if your dice stack up and then reach this area here. So if they go higher than the play area, that will end the game and that will cause a loss. If you go through all the tiles, um, you win the game and then you'll add up your score. So the actions, let's talk about all the actions. There are seven actions in the game that you can take each turn, okay? So you have, when you're set up and I'll, I'll I'll talk about this is the manipulation stage of the turn. This is really the meat of it because when you're setting up your dice in this drop zone, you're trying to manipulate this to a point where they fall in here and you can make these shapes. The shape tiles are what you get for victory points. So the seven actions consist of uh, you have a flip, which means you can flip the dice to the other side. So six to a one, five to a two, you know, three to four, four to three. That's a one action, it takes one, right? So that would be a one. Next action is a re-roll. So basically if you didn't like the five, you could re-roll it and then you have a two, okay? So that is a one action for re-roll. Then you have the decrease, which means you can take a die and decrease the value by either one or two. So you can make this either a four or you can make it a three, then you put it back. Same goes with increase. You can take a die of four and increase it to a five or a six. A one can go to a two and a three. Now, you can't increase a six to go to one and you can't decrease a one to go to a six. Six is the highest and one is the lowest. So those are also just one action um, one of your actions to take to perform that action. This action right here is called the swap. So you're basically swapping positions. So let's say I want this five to drop before this orange one, you just swap the positions and that takes one action, okay? So that's called dice uh, position swap and you're swapping two dice in the drop zone because remember when you have finished your six actions, the dice will drop into the play area from left to right. They will also drop based on the number that's showing, this value. So a five will five, fall in the five column. Four will fall or drop into the four column. Again, this four will drop and go on top of that orange four. And then one will go here, six here, and so on. So they drop from left to right, and the value is the column that they drop in. Now there's a seventh um, action and it's called dice blaster and what that is is if you have dice already on the game board all right so you have your four and a five we'll make this a four and we have a three here and a two they will always have the same number going up so dice blaster which is a one action that you can take means I can take a dice and blow, blast it off the game area. So I want this four to drop so I have these 
orange ones in line. So I take the dice blaster and I would get rid of that and then the dice, all the dice on top drop into that empty space. That's a one action or that costs one action. So all seven actions only cost one action. And this is where you'll keep track of each action you take. Okay, you have six actions in total. So, the purpose of all the actions for that turn is to manipulate the position and the value of the die so when they drop, you can create these shapes. Now, the seventh action is called Shape Rotate. And what it does is it's, it costs one and it allows you to rotate a shape 90 degrees. So you could take this and go, oh my gosh, I have my dice set up ready to go. If I drop one more, I'll be able to create this shape instead of this one. So what you do is you rotate it. So if it was like this, you could rotate it this way or this way, but it cost one action. And that helps you set up the uh, layouts of these positions or these shapes so when your dice are falling, you can plan ahead and say, okay, well, I could have my dice fall and I think the way the dice will set up, this position would work out already how the dice are, are positioned in the, in the columns. So that seventh action is rotate a tile. So you have flip a die, re-roll a die, decrease the value of a die by one or two, increase the value of a die one by one or two, then you have swap a position, then there's dice blaster, which lets you remove a dice, and then there's rotate 90 degrees, uh, right or left, and that costs one action. So those are the seven things you can do on your turn, but you gotta remember, you have a minute to perform all those actions. If you aren't able to perform all those actions, then you just clear out whatever remaining actions you had and put it to zero and then start dropping your dice. So you have, when you roll your dice and place that last one, flip the timer and then that's when your turn starts. You have to start performing all your actions within that minute. If you run out of time, all the dice start dropping. So, when you have manipulated all your dice and your turn's over, Right? So let's say you've run through your minute, this is your setup, you will now start dropping dice. Okay? So, so I don't lose this. Let's say we have this as a setup. Just a random. Okay? And I'll put a one and a two in here. So the way these dice are gonna drop is, so my turn's over, I've manipulated what I want, I'll start dropping them. So this will go here, we go left to right, so this three will go here, five here, the six falls on top of that one, and the three goes on here. So now you can see that how the dice drop and in what order they drop is going to affect what shapes you can try and create. And that's where your planning comes in and you are being timed, so you have a short amount of time to really get in there and think about what you want to do. Every turn, this is what happens, you'll roll six new dice, manipulate the position and the values, and then they will drop again. As these dice start to pile up, you will either get shapes that you create or, or not, but at the end of the turn, let's say this is position and nothing was able to be hit. These will now rotate they will, they will drop off. All these will drop down one, and you will flip a new tile. This one is out of the game, okay? If you were able to create a tile, so let's say we had two blues, right? So we have a one here, and then we have a two, and then a blue was created, All right? So it turns over, now we drop our two, we were able to create this shape. Now it's immediate. Even though this was the first die that dropped and these ones haven't dropped, this gets removed immediately and then you get this as a victory point, right? And you would put it in your victory point pile. These would all drop down and then you immediately turn over the next tile. 
And the thing about that is, even though there's dice still up here, now that you've drawn a tile, there could be a shape that's sitting here before these happen, and then that one gets removed and you get that tile. So these, it's very dynamic. It happens immediately when these tiles, uh, shape tiles start showing up. And then you'll finish dropping the tiles um, as each die, or you'll start dropping the dice as each dice drops and stops. You'll always be checking to see when a shape is created and then removing the dice off, dropping all the rest of the dice down and then taking your shape. So that's what happens as your turn is, um, the drop zone phase is, is finished and now they start dropping into the play area and you're starting to create those. So let's put this at the bottom. So now we have, I'll go back to our setup. Okay. So that's the uh, actions that you can take. Uh, this is what happens when your um, uh, dice manipulation uh, part of the turn stops or ends and then you, all the dice start dropping. And that's when you're really trying to create your, your shape. So. What we'll do now is we'll go into the next uh, section of the video, and this will be the playthrough part of it. Okay? Hello again. Again, this is Joseph Propati, and this section of the video for Dice Tetris is going to be the playthrough. So I'm going to walk through a number of turns and um, just give an idea of the, the length that the game can take. Is Obviously, when you're learning it, you know that you have a minute to manipulate your dice. And there are 40 tiles. So we know that minimum it's 40, 40 minutes. Now it could go faster because you may take less time to manipulate your dice, um, or it could take a little longer. So just give you an idea of the time frame because you're going through 40 tiles, it could take longer than 40 minutes. Now if you stack up your dice, you lose the game, could be less than 40 minutes. So just bear in mind, 40 tiles, it's a minute to manipulate your dice. So, but then you have rolling dice and stuff like that. So I'd give it like a, probably about 50 or so minutes to play a game. So let's go ahead and we'll start, let's start our first turn. So here's our dice set up. These are the shapes we have. We have yellow dice, we have some green dice, blue dice, and an orange dice. Now these are the red tiles and the orange tiles. So we have actually every color, which is really cool. So we'll go ahead and I'll set the timer. And I will see I got orange, so let's have yellow, since it's flat, so we'll have this flip to a two. That's an action. We're gonna swap these two so I can have the yellows go first. So we're gonna try and do yellow here. Then we have a four, right? But we need that to be yellow all the way to four. So what we'll do is we'll increase these to five and a five. So then we'll have a orange and a green. Those took two. We'll have the six go here and then we'll have the five because I think I can rotate this one to get the green. So we'll do, uh, what else we got? We're almost out of time and eh, we're good. So time runs out. Let's start dropping the dice. So we've got one, two, We've got a five, five, top, six, and then a five. Yeah, it would have been better to switch those. So, so the dice have dropped. Now, end of the turn, this tile comes off. The rest of them drop down, and we draw a new tile. Okay, and then we're going to do our next set of dice for the drop zone. Remember, we put them in left to right. You can take a handful and just start dropping. Just don't look at them. Okay. And then once you put that last dice, you don't have time. You don't get time to look at what you're set up. You got to go. So think of playing in the video game. So now we've got red and we've got this shape. We have another yellow. So let's make this a three by doing a flip. That's one. 
and we've got red so if we could do all uh, right we're gonna have a three there so we could do make this uh, okay watch let's make this a f I'm gonna turn it so we'll make this a two so we'll drop it down so it'll be on top it's an action We'll make a green. All right, so this will be a six. We'll flip it. Action. Let's take these two and swap them. And four. We'll make this a five. All right. So time run out. Drop that down to zero. We'll start dropping them. So we got a two, three. Six, six, five, and we're working on this shape here, and then six. All right. So now, one of the things is, if I could get rid of that, if this shape was flipped, I could have made that one. But we're going to have to flip, rotate it right, and then put another green here, and then we can get that one. But we are now, I need another yellow so I can create this. So what we'll do is we'll start, we'll drop our tiles, that goes, everything else drops, and then we put a new tile. Okay, we'll reset our actions. Yellow, oops, red, yellow, we got a blue, another yellow, green, and a one. Okay, now we're looking at a chance to get some shapes done, especially the yellow, possibly the green. So, with the rotate. So here we go. But we need dice to fall faster than others. So we'll start. We know we got our yellow, so we know we're going to rotate this down. We're going to decrease it to a four. All right. That one's fine to go to one. Five. That'll be okay. We'll have the four. Uh, go on top there, and then we want this to be, we'll swap to a six. So we had that one, and then that one, and then we're going to make this a five, three. We want to rotate this. Got that, so we know that the green will get it. We'll get the red, or I mean the yellow and the green, and then this will drop again on the red. So. Uh, I think we're, uh, we could do, no, we want that to drop, but we don't want this to be a six. Okay, so we're going to make that a six, because we didn't want the five, or we could swap them. We could do that, but six is okay. So we'll have, because I don't want that five to drop here, and then I've lost that space for the five because of the blue. So, time runs out. Let's go ahead and start dropping. So we got a one here, four here. Now, immediately, we can make this shape. So we get to keep this as our victory points. These come right off the board, go in the bag, and these drop down. Okay? Now we continue on. There's a six. This four drops here. The five goes here. And again, immediately, we can make this shape. So we take these dice out. Take this tile and we want to make sure because these tiles get filled up again just in case something else can get created so we can take these greens out we get that these drop and then we have the one so <clears throat> so here we have our dice remaining these are our new tiles but, at the end of a turn, remember, these all drop down. And we create a new tile. And see what I mean by it could be faster than 40 minutes? Only because you go through a lot of tiles um, as you take them and they drop. So, um, that it was like a ballpark. 40 is a ballpark just based on 40 tiles and a minute per. But it, it'll more than likely go faster. Because as you create a tile, it's gone and then more shift out. So we have, and, and 
when you're looking at this, when the turn is over, this is when you can start kind of doing some planning too, because you see that you have some red. All right, and we can make this shape, or if we rotate it, we know that we can make that shape. Yellow on the blue. I don't have a lot of blue, but uh, we got a yellow. It's going to drop soon, so it really just depends on what dice we get. So we'll go ahead, roll some dice. Blues this time. Five. Yellow. Okay, so we know we got yellows, oranges, some blues. All right, let's go ahead and start the timer. Okay, we don't have enough to do the yellows. Um, we can do. We can get rid of some blues and make this. So we can destroy two of those. So we'll make this a six. That's one, so that'll stack. And we will make, we will swap these. Okay, and then we'll make it a six. And a five, decrease to a five. So now we can make the blue shape. And then we need two to destroy these. And this immediately falls. Okay, so we know that but we're out of action, so there's nothing else we can do. We just have to let the tiles drop as they may, so or the the dice. So we will just let the timer run out. But let's go ahead and start dropping. So we have a blue, right? And we've made this shape. So these come off. This one comes off. We've got those points. These drop down. Let's flip a new tile. Continue dropping. There's a yellow. Orange, green, and yellow. All right, so we rotate that one. We can probably get this yellow one. But we're going to lose this one, so this drops off. These all drop down. Let's see what the next one is. Okay. Let's get our dice. Got an orange. Green. Let's see if we can get that yellow. Six. There we go. All right. So we get a good one. We got, but we're gonna have to rotate. So that's gonna take two to get it over. Okay. So let's start the timer. And first things first, we're gonna swap these. All right. So that's one action. Then we're gonna take two actions. Two to rotate this. All right, and then we need to make this. Uh, we can change it to a six. Bring it down to a four. Only got one left, so six. That'll be a one. That's a two. So next we can change. Let's go. We'll do. Let's make this a five. All right, six and five. All right, that's our actions. So time's run out. Let's start dropping. So we got the four that drops, and bam, we can make this one. Okay, and these immediately come off. This drops, and we go six, one, five, six, and five. Okay. All right, so we'll reset that. I think I'll play a couple more. I think you've got the idea of how it works. Three, one, two, four, four, and four. Okay. So, bummer is we don't have any blues here, and we only have one orange. So we have a chance to get this one, but. Uh, it's gonna be a tough one. Now the way we could do it is get rid of the greens and then sit a couple oranges there, which means they need to be in the four. So we'd have to rotate one, and then two, three to get rid of those, and then place those there. So we got. Let's get going. 
So we're gonna make this a four. So we're gonna do a flip, right? So that'll land there. We're gonna use two to get rid of these. That drops. And then we want to swap these two. So now we get the four. So we know this, and then we're gonna rotate. We got one less. So we got a two, a four will go on top. And let's make this a six. Then a one and a four. So there we go. We gotta stop that. And let's start dropping. So four comes down. Next four comes down, and we made this shape. So this comes off, and we get this victory point. These all drop down. Pull out a new one, yellow. So then two, a six, one, and a four. Okay. And we'll do one more. Let's reset that. Six. Six, three, blue, orange, and yellow. A lot of sixes. Yeah, so we got yellows, we got a lot of blues, but we have no blue tiles and reds. Don't know if I can make any. So this is really just going to be basically getting them kind of arranged for the later possible setups. Okay, so... Are there any I want to destroy? So too many sixes. So let's drop these down. We'll make that a five. We'll make this. We'll swap it to a one. Over there. So there you have it. Uh, that is my game, Dice Tetris. Uh, I hope that you have a better understanding of how the game plays. Um, I hope you'll give the game a try, uh, and uh, if you do, let me know how you like it. Thanks again. My name is Joseph Propati, and this is Dice Tetris. Thanks.